Hello, and today is the final day of my sketchbook challenge. I know it's posted later than what it should have been for the final day, but with potato Wi-Fi, it takes a while to upload. Like one of my videos literally took almost two days to post, so sorry about that. But today is day seven, and today's challenge is fan art. And I really wanted to use this challenge to say thank you to all of the other fellow YouTube artists that inspire me to make art and as well as some people that got me through quarantine and kept me like entertained. So let's get into it. Enjoy the final day and thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. All right and day seven is underway. Just letting you guys know that this video is going to be a little bit longer than what I've done for this past challenge so grab a snack get in a comfy seat or lay down wherever you feel comfortable get some water and enjoy i had a lot of fun doing this challenge but not only was it a sketchbook challenge it was also an editing challenge and a filming challenge as i've never consistently made videos every single day at least almost every single day of my artwork so it was a lot of fun challenging my creative stamina i would say so i really enjoyed that well i enjoyed this it's not over yet <laughs> all right so as we know today's prompt is fan art and I'm going to be drawing four people, two of them being YouTubers and two of them being popular figures in our day and age, I would say. So the first person I'm drawing is Radia and sh her Instagram handle is Knives Me Out. And her one thing I love about your username, it's a play on Knives Chow from uh scott pilgrim i was blinking there for a moment but yeah scott pilgrim so i thought that was really cool because that was a movie that i i personally enjoyed so to hear that she was inspired by that was pretty cool and i'm drawing her wearing her handmade uh cooney mask and i love her cat it's, i just love the little personality that her cat has i also really love her hair I have hair envy with her very cool silverish, purplish hair with the bangs. She looks very cool. And I also love seeing people like in my age bracket be so successful in art and really get into the art community and the art world and the art business and be successful at it. So watching her YouTube videos really makes me realize that it's possible. Like her collab with Beats and Rico Nasty, like that was so cool. Or was it Skull Candy, not Beats? Skull Candy. What a fan I am of not even knowing about that. But I know like <laughs> Rico Nasty was a part of the collab as well. And she got her artwork on like their website and posters and even like the music video it was like crazy crazy it was like imagine your artwork being like a part of it like the whole thing being like centered around your creation like that's just so cool like i said super inspiring and motivating <laughs> honestly but she's a very kind and like compassionate human at least that's what i can take from her youtube videos i also like that she does long youtube videos because i always put on her videos when i'm sketching or getting like video plans put together or even just like cleaning my room i'll put on her videos and like just relax it's great she's great Now I'm sketching out her hand, trying to figure it out a little bit. Uh, 
as I'm recording this audio, uh, day five is uploading. I wish my Wi-Fi didn't suck so bad, because now I'm like way behind on where I want it to be. Almost like a week. Yeah, it's literally been like a week since where day seven was supposed to be, <laughs> but it's okay. I hope you guys will still enjoy it, even though it's been a week since we last left off. And I, I'm gonna make a video talking about what I plan to post on my account moving forward, but in my high school, to graduate, we have to do a capstone project. And for my capstone, I'm doing what they call a passion project, where we share our passion with others and teach them something about our passion. So, I think it's a little obvious, <laughs> but my passion is art. And for my passion project, I wanted to be like an art mentor and help people hone in their craft and just be there for them if they need to even ask like questions or need a little help on a piece. Whatever it may be. So I'm gonna be an art mentor for my project, but I'm also gonna make YouTube content teaching some fundamental skills of art and also doing like painting demos and color pencil demos where I might do like live streams and then post them to my YouTube so that you guys can like watch along and hear the comments that I make and hopefully follow along with your own supplies or watch my video and do a similar project with your own idea. It just, I would really love to teach art to others because I have such a deep passion for it that I don't want to keep the passion just to myself. Like I want other people to experience the joy of art and expressing yourself through a piece. It, it's a lot of fun. All right. So I'm on to my second face and I wish I did a little bit better of a job at drawing her, but this is Corinna Singh, sign. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name. Like I said, what a big fan I am when I can't even pronounce your name right. But she's also a fellow art YouTuber and I got the whole idea for this sketchbook challenge from her. <laughs> I was watching her videos and I was like, you know, that's a great idea, doing a seven day sketchbook challenge. Just a whole week of drawing in my sketchbook and making fun and cool designs. So I was like, you know what, I, I, I just gotta do that. I gotta film that and I'll also put some content out on my page, which I, I've wanted to do for a while. So if it weren't for her, you guys probably would have never seen this. Or wouldn't have seen it for a while so if she watches this thank you so freaking much you don't realize how much of an impact that you just had on my life I even like messaged her on Instagram telling her like you're godsend you're awesome thank you for inspiring me to do this but I use a uh, a reference photo off of Instagram of her of her personal Instagram and I love her like green streak that she had in her wings I thought that was pretty neat I love people that have confidence to like do the cool color strips in the front of their hair I think that's pretty cool And later on in these drawings, at like, uh, in this sketch, I go back in with crayon and add a little bit of color. Like I was talking about her green strip of hair. I go in with the green and color that in a little bit. Excuse me, um, it's a little late at night. <laughs> Some little tired boy.
but yeah, I don't, I don't know, Roddy is just like, her face just came like right to me, but it's the second face, I just really flopped, I don't know why, but like, even working like on a spread like I am here, like I have such steam, and then it just like sputters out. Like, I think something looks really good, and then the next thing, I'm like, wow, this looks like poop. Which, her face isn't poop. It isn't poop at all. She's gorgeous. But my drawing doesn't capture her beauty like I would like it to. But hey, that's okay. I may redraw her. Like, do, like, a video specifically for drawing, like, my favorite art YouTubers. Because, like, I was gonna do another YouTuber, but I would, um... Matthew Sorgi because he also inspired me to make more symbolic pieces for like my uh, AP concentration because I am making pieces that are reflective of memories and he had a piece that did the same thing but he did it in such like a beautiful symbolic way that I was just like whoa I need to be doing that I need to be doing that right now <laughs> so he's also a big inspiration and motivation when I make my art so I think I'm gonna do a couple like stylized pieces of my favorite art YouTubers to just as a thank you for inspiring me and setting me in the right direction because I never really thought I would be a YouTuber, especially an art YouTuber. But here we are, making art on YouTube for everybody to watch and for everybody to enjoy. So, yeah. There's some very special people out there that I want you guys to also watch. So I will be linking their YouTubes in my description. Because you guys should watch them. And also enjoy them. And also follow them. And also like their videos. Because they are amazing. But you know what you should also do? Like, comment, and subscribe to me. Because maybe one day I'll be your favorite art YouTuber. That'd be pretty cool. Follow along with me. And in the future, I hope to do like... Studio vlogs and stuff. And bring you guys along with me on my... A day in, like a day in my life kind of thing. And show you like my art process and... Like my full art process. Like from idea conception to final piece. I think that'll be in my like educational playlist like I plan on doing videos like how to get inspired how to even like have a first sketch how to thumbnail like I want to do an in-depth series of how to make a single art piece from start to finish I think people would really um find use in that because I know I surely would because sometimes, like, when I try to make art, I'm like, wow, I don't even know where to begin. Like, I want to make something, but I have no clue what. So I would really like to share that process. I'm going to stop blabbering for a little bit. And let you guys watch the art be created. So I'll come back when we're on our next person. So, enjoy. Enjoy the vibes. Enjoy the art. Peace.
All right, and we're on to our third person for the fan art challenge. And I decided to draw Johnny from Cobra Kai. As me and my dad have been watching, we, well, we binge watched Cobra Kai and probably, we binge watched like all of Cobra Kai, I would say in at least two months. And there's three seasons at the moment. And we really enjoyed it. Like, growing up, I've seen, like, the Karate Kid movies, but I don't really remember them. Like, I know there's Daniel and Mr. Miyagi in the bonsai trees, wax on, wax off. Like, I know all that, but, like, I didn't really remember, like, Cobra Kai and Johnny and, like, the Cobra Kai gang and Crease. Like, I didn't remember them. But watching Cobra Kai and them doing, like, the flashbacks and stuff really, like, started to put it together for me. And I was like, oh, yeah, uh uh-huh. But, like, certain, like, very specific callbacks, like, sets or characters, I'm like, I have no clue what's happening. And my dad would be like, oh, my God, it's so-and-so. Or, oh, my gosh, they recreated that scene to the T. And I'm like, thank you. If you say so, I have no clue. So I'm drawing Johnny in a fighting stance. Or like a stance that... (laughs) Big yawn again. Sorry. (laughs) In a fighting stance that he put like on his dojo posters when he was trying to get more students. And he was littering the town with his... Please come join my dojo posters. So... Like I said before, like when I was drawing, I kind of lost steam, but I tried my best. And this is more of like a getting figure proportions correct rather than having like a super detailed face. But I also wanted it to look like him. I didn't want it to look like some random dude. So I had like my reference photos pulled up on my iPad and I I was looking at them making sure I was getting the angles right and trying to get like the main details correct so that the character was recognizable at least. And it, like I said, it just didn't look like some random person. Alrighty, and our fourth and final person for the fan art challenge is William Eilish. I mean, Billie Eilish. (laughs) I absolutely love her music, and I loved her music since she was on SoundCloud. I'm an OG Billie Eilish fan. You can't tell me any different. (laughs) But 
besides me being a stan. I also like her uh, fashion sense. I like her baggy clothing and almost like athletic wear sort of style, street wear. That's something I, s I see myself replicating in my own outfits and fashion. But I am drawing her head when she had two buns in her hair and also with her green roots. So I, again, I'm going to be using my green crayon as well as my black crayon to draw in her hair. She also had earrings on. Oh, I threw a baby on the video. <laughs> I'm going to need some sleep soon. But I drew in her earrings and then I really wanted to get her face as accurate as possible because she, like I mentioned in yesterday's video, there's certain things like when you do a portrait of somebody, you want to get their proportions as proper as possible because even down to eye shape can make somebody look like themselves or not look like themselves or how their eyebrow is arched or like the size of their nostrils could completely change how they look and if it's capturing them properly. And uh, again, like I said in yesterday's video, Billie Eilish has very like distinguished, distinguishable, that's English. I need to learn it. Like when you look at Billie Eilish, like if you see a picture, you're like, oh yeah, that's Billie Eilish. Like noticeable features, recognizable, recognizable features. So I really wanted to get them right because she has a very known face for even by being popular, like very recognizable. So I'm just drawing in her nose now and then I go in and put in her buns. And then I also put in her eyes. I was very loose with the buns because they were messy anyways. So to make them very rigid and stiff wouldn't have fit the, the original look that her buns had in the photograph. I also did some light shading and rendering to make it a little bit more realistic of a face. As I think this is my only full pencil spread that I did this whole challenge, but I also wanted to show that you don't really need anything besides a pencil to create a really cool spread of stuff and people that inspire you. Or of anything, really. Like recently, I did a study. Well, <laughs> I don't know if I have to really call it a study. I got bored in my study hall and I asked one of my friends, I'm like, oh, what should I draw? And we were in the music room. So she was like, oh, you should draw the student, like a student teacher or teacher assistant. And I was like, okay, great idea. So I just whipped out my, my pen and I got to it. Like I did sketch just some pen, like whatever was in my pencil case that I bring to school. Cause I bring very limited things with me cause I don't want to get them all COVID dirty. So I bring very few things with me to school and they're my only school supplies. Like I have separate home supplies. So anyways, sidetracked. Only drew in pen, no pencil, even though I had pencil with me. I was like, you know, I'm going to challenge myself a little and draw an only pen. Be confident in my lines. And luckily, that student teacher sits extremely still <laughs> when he's working on his computer. But I also feel bad because I'm just like staring at him. Staring at him, looking at my sketchbook. Staring at him, looking at my sketchbook. So I tried to work as quick as possible <laughs> as well. But I think I'll be showing that sooner rather than later because I think I'm gonna do a sketchbook tour because I've completed two sketchbooks in the past year yeah this whole school year I've already completed two sketchbooks so I'm gonna do a sketchbook tour and show you guys around my sketchbook and which would also um hope show you guys how to get inspired because I did a couple assignments like focusing on 
artwork that inspires me or stuff that I would draw from. Well, draw from and also take inspiration from or stuff that I would like to recreate in my art, like certain color palettes or detailing, so to speak. So I add the green and the black crayon under the eyelashes hair. Touched up the pencil, but yeah, sketchbook tour is coming soon. I think you guys will really enjoy that. And just doing some touch up with a little bit of crayon, adding some color to the mask. And that is it. Thank you for watching.